What's going on guys? It's your boy King Solomon back with another video for Marvel Avengers and today I'm bringing you guys my Hawkeye update review part 2. Thank you for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you guys are new to the channel and let's get right into it. So in part 2 I'm going to be talking about the new harm room, the new custom harm room. I'm going to be covering the Maestro skin for Hawk, the Old Man skin for Hawkeye. I'm going to be covering the DLC missions and the cutscenes I'm going to be covering uh, if this is a yay or a nay altogether for the update itself and going forward for the future of this game. Starting off the prologue for the DLC we see Clint still in the coma and then we jump to a vision or a memory of old man Clint well with old man Clint in the future. I didn't really understand what we were seeing in the prologue but you discover a uh, signal from Roy and he helps you send a message to the present and that's the end of the prologue right there um, once you get done with the prologue you can go forward into the Hawkeye DLC and next up we have the first mission which is my life as a weapon in this mission Hawkeye goes back to his apartment to retrieve his dog Lucky there was some very valuable information that Hawkeye put inside of a chip and that chip uh, he implanted inside of his dog Lucky. Um, so in the middle of him getting his dog, uh, he's attacked by watchdogs and AIM. They steal his dog, and you have to retrieve his dog back from the watchdogs and AIM. You go through a bunch of like little um, new mechanics in the game that I really like. There's a mechanic in the game in the middle of the mission to where you have to complete a certain area uh, with the you have to complete the objective in a, a time frame pretty much and if you don't complete the objective in the time frame you pretty much uh, lose the objective and you have to start back over from a checkpoint uh, there's another part in the mission where you interact with some civilians and the civilians uh, are it's actually pretty cool to see Hawkeye and uh, these Avengers interact with these civilians um, we don't see stuff like this in the game often but I'm happy that they started to do stuff like this so I thought this mission was definitely pretty cool um, the second mission is definitely a banger It is called till death in this mission Hawkeye uh, the present Hawkeye meets the future meets his future self in the wastelands and I thought that was really cool to see because the multiverse is confirmed that means we have a multiverse inside this Marvel game that will be dope if they mess around with Kane the Conqueror or somebody with uh, a villain with uh, dealing with time travel in the future that'll be definitely cool to see um, but what I didn't like in this mission or uh, in this DLC overall was that there's no input from any other Avenger about time travel and that bugs me like Captain America doesn't say anything about time travel nobody says anything other anything else about going into time travel or going into the wastelands going into the future um, meeting old man Hawkeye uh, looking at the wastelands itself nobody says anything uh, so in the next mission we have point blank and Hawkeye just finds more mission more information about um, Nick Fury last Nick Fury's last known location uh, there's nothing too big here in this mission and so that's this mission was was kind of like a filler mission to me so take what you will take what you want with this mission but that's that's all there is with this one um in the last mission we came face to face with uh maestro the last mission is called future imperfect and the maestro boss fight was a pretty bad ass boss fight if you guys have not seen my previous my previous videos i've definitely uh covered his mechanics his new mechanics and his boss fight and villain sectors in previous videos so if you guys want to take a look at those i will leave a link down in the comment section below to my previous videos for the maestro boss fight and after we have dealt with maestro we find out where nick fury is beyond is in the game and he is beyond uh the storm the tachyon storm in the game um he ha we find out that he's trapped in time with monica monica used the cosmic cube to trap everybody in time 
to freeze everything right there in that little space and time is bubble right here and this is where Nick Fury and everybody else else has been like the Kree and if there are any other Avengers that we haven't seen um, in the game yet that's probably where they're at so um, in this last mission the only other mission that we have uh, outside of the DLC and outside of the Hawkeye uh, that you can match make with at any time any point in time that you want to do it um, it's called the U and Funeral um, it is a threat sector you can explore the future wastelands for a little bit not to a whole cert to not to a whole lot but the, you can explore it to a certain degree um, th this mission is pretty cool you can run around the wastelands it's a pretty big area um, but overall I believe there we need more for the wastelands we definitely do that should not be the only mission in the wastelands um, but take what you will from this DLC because I believe this DLC is a banger I will give this DLC a 7 out of 10 um, I believe they should have gave us more missions for the wasteland wastelands when this DLC dropped but um, the custom harm room is a banger if you guys want to go in there just beat some enemies up you can definitely go in there and mess around with it be a god if you want to because you can turn god mode on the maestro and hawkeye skin should not have been uh purchasables we should have been able to unlock those skins at the end of the hawkeye campaign we should not have been able we should not have been forced to buy those uh costumes with new um with actual currency i do not like that idea so that's all there is for me thank you for watching my review i am out have a great day peace Da da da